All right, welcome to Everdome Moment. This is an impromptu kind of a sharpening session. I was getting ready to do something on my knives and I figured I might as well film it, throw it up on the internet. So we have some Shun knives and Tajiro. Let me see if I can get these up here for you. Shun needs to be polished up. Tajiro, this is the DP series. This is the Sora, both VG10. And so uh, I got the best tester out. We can see how sharp one of these are. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. And let's just see, you know, how sharp it is right now. Whoa, it is says 995. Uh, we're gonna do that again on a flat surface just to like give it the benefit of the doubt. All right, so we got another one here. Let's see what we got. I mean, 812. I mean, it is. That's how dull this knife got. 812 on the thing. And we're going to do one for the. Like, holy crap, what the hell have I been cutting on this thing? We're going to do the shun. Okay, the shun wasn't bad. The shun is at a 244. Shun's not getting love in the house. All right. So, I only brought one more good tooth out here, so I'll have to. Oh, that's the GoPro saying it's out. So, I was trying to film a little on the GoPro too. You guys will just have to bear with me on this. So, okay, let's get to sharpening the knife. Okay, so, wow, so this knife really wasn't that dull. So, let's go ahead with the knife that's not that dull. And let's see, we got A6, which is 2,500. We got A16, 1,500. Okay, I want to try. I don't know. You guys can comment. But let's just try to sharpen it with the 1,500. Now, normally in the hand sharpening world, this would be a thing, but I noticed that the belt sharpeners, they, they go extremely rugged. And I mean, I think most of us hand sharpeners would just freak out with some of these 200 grit, 100 grit, 80 grit, 60. I mean, they just do, I'm like, you're just wasting away knife. And then I was told a lot of them don't use the belts when they're extremely new. They kind of wear them down. So this 1500 has been in use for a while too. It's not an aggressive out of the box 1500. So let's just see what happens. I mean, let's just see. So one of the things I want to point out is a lot of times it can be hard to feel the burr on something this fine because the burr might be abraded away as I'm sharpening. So for those of us on stones, we're used to feeling the burr. And I know if you use the rough stuff, you will see the burr. I mean, you will visibly see it, but like you've taken a lot of metal off. I'm not knocking the people who do it. Commercial sharpening, I get it. Time is money, whatever. But um, I'm just trying to see, as an experiment, how fine a belt can I sharpen a really nice knife. 
So because it's hard to feel a burr, I don't know if I've done anything. I don't feel it. Okay, so let's just find out. I've got a kangaroo strop here. I'm going to put it on the rough side. Let's, let's go smooth. All right. We brought a book out here. So it's sharper, maybe, but it feels like I could have done a job with like getting rid of the burr a little bit better. So let's go ahead and go over here to, let's put the 2500 on here. Let's polish it a little bit more. So this is the, um, for those of you who are asking, these are the Trizac belts. Um, the A16 is what we just used. This is the A6. So this is a much finer 2500 grit. So let's see how sharp that got on the best. Okay, so apparently that one was already cut. I could have lied, but I didn't. That one's, that one's new. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, wow. <laughs> 101 is what we've got that at. So that is incredible. I'm gonna ask my wife who's going in to grab a couple of more of these picks because we just did, we have a knife so dull that it got an 800 and a 900. <laughs> so that was possible. <laughs> so okay. we are going to sharpen it real quick and okay. just see what's yeah. gonna happen. Okay, so now the question is on the extremely dull knife, do we still start at the 1500? So let's do that. What the heck? Let's start at the 1500. Okay, don't give me crap for my workspace. This is in my garage. Um, luckily it's nice. So 
for those of you guys you don't know, we were shooting earlier, and then all of a sudden my gimbal died because the battery was dead, so I had to go play chess and sharpen it, I mean, and back charge it for a little while. And then, um, then the GoPro said, well, we were filming, and then that battery died. So we're operating on one thing here, but I hope we get this. So, so we got a couple of picks, fresh. Okay, so we got the extremely dull to zero. So let's do it. Now, by the way, this one does not need polishing. Okay, it needs a little wiping down, but it doesn't need polishing. So. That's so bad. So we're doing the same method that we just did. Let's verify. We got the A6. Where is it at, folks? There it is. Okay. So let's see if just these two belts on something as dull as over 800. Just a 1500 grit and a 2500 grit, and then some kangaroo tail. How far can it knock down? Because this will prove should I have to, should I have, have gone to like a much lower grit? Okay. So we got the best tester on. We got teared. We got it ready to go. Oh, wrong knife. That would have been funny. Big knife. So we got it down to 163. Can you guys see that number, 163? All right, so let's do the 1500, the light in my garage at night, very difficult. Okay, so some of you guys asked the question, what was the angle? This is a Japanese knife, harder than 60. So the stropping angle is the same as the sharpening angle. 
but I do my last strokes almost flat as if I'm just trying to line up the edge. Okay, so we've got it teared. I'll tear it again. Let's see what we got. So we have a 99. So if you remember my episode with Ryan Swanson and I'll put it above, Ryan always finishes on stone or K. I don't know if that's a service for special knives or whatever, but I just wanted you to know that typically he would follow up on stone. So anyway, I had fun doing this. Thanks for like kind of checking it out. Like I'm learning as you're learning. I'm putting myself out there learning equipment, sharing with you what I've learned. Obviously as a commercial knife sharpener, you can get knives pretty sharp. But I have noticed that it really excels with the really good knives. The better the steel, the better the result. So anyway, that was fun. And, uh, you know, always stay safe. Again, I've got my leather to protect me. I've got eye protection. It's a really nice night out here tonight. Um, I am not detecting a lot of debris out here for me to worry about the respirator. I appreciate you guys being concerned. We had a really nice wind tonight, actually. It was really good. So, uh, thanks for, hopefully that wasn't a dull moment. That was pretty cool, right? I mean, you know, we're going to be getting into Japanese natural stones. We're going to be doing some features on some new Arkansas that I got to see how much better they are. Of course, we've got new knives. We're still chasing unicorns. So we've got some nice unicorns. Appreciate you guys checking us out. Friday nights at eight o'clock. I mean, what's up, man? God bless.